We're lucky to have Mayor Timmons ushering Strawberry to the forefront. Yes, indeed. You arrange a bath, I need a wash. All right, head on over when you're ready. Letting me take over here. Oh, sounds good. Yeah, thanks. Good. Now relax. You let me know if you need a scrub anywhere else. Hope I'm not scrubbing too hard. My dog Copper used to take baths with me when he was alive. Oh, I'm not sure what to do with that. Oh, I'm glad of this. It's been a hard few days. Oh, you don't say. So, how's it going with you? Not too bad. I've had quite the run of bad luck recently. I'm so very sorry to hear that. Well, at least this ain't awkward. Oh, <laughs> this is so unprofessional. I'm sorry. <sighs> you seem nice. Oh, I ain't nothing special, please. Anyway, I'll stop boring you now. Don't you worry about a thing. You're so kind. <sighs> Just let yourself unwind. Is that nice? Goodness, quite the scars you have, huh? All right, I think I'm good. I sure hope I see you again. You look fine up. Feeling fresh, I hope? Yep, yep. You 
again. Best mind your ways around here, or I'll be after you, you hear? Hey, listen. I'm a changed man now. Thank you for keeping us all safe, sir. Hmm. Get on out of here, you! Okay, okay, keep your hair on. Think twice before you mess with the law again. Wait. Boy. Hey, mister. Good morning. Move already. Goddamn Chinaman, man. Tell me this map will have treasure. Hey there! Sweet juniper and boiled Satan, you scared me! You ain't interested in no scrap paper. It's nothing. Just something for wiping and sniffing in the night. Yeah. Well, I got to go now. Hey, why the hurry, partner? I got a hot tail. Don't you follow me now.
Another time we go. Yes. Morning, fella. Good boy.
How's your look? Good boy. Cannot complain. That's good. Okay there? Hello, mister. Howdy. Hello again. How do you do, sir? Hey, you there. A quick word. What can I do for you, sir? There's an old gunslinger I'm looking for. I heard he comes through here. Name of Midnight Billy. Oh, that old soak? Yeah, he spends days on board these trains, but he's going nowhere but the gutter. I imagine you'll find him right in the next one through here. Either that or the next one. Try them both. Look in the bar car. Mr. Midnight? Excuse me, I'm trying to drink. Mr. Midnight, listen, this won't take a moment. I just want to talk with you about your old days as a shootist. Get away from me! Hey! I didn't shoot him in his sleep! No one's I saying that... I didn't shoot him in his sleep, and if I did, it was the only way! Not a problem. I'm here about Jim Boy Calloway, and no one shot him yet. I knew you'd come for me! Get away from me! Mr. Midnight! Ah.
yourself. This is you. Thanks for that. Good luck to you. Come on. Okay. Hey, boy. <laughs> Howdy. Hey there. with the mystery box? I will owe you my whole life. No lie. But uh, uh, let, me, let me buy you something from the store. Whatever you want, it's on me. <laughs> okay. Appreciate it. Having conquered evil the way I have, it's the least a humble man can do. What can I do for you? Yeah. Uh, Guy with the snake bite says I can put some here on his tab. That fool? Jesus. If it's not one thing, it's another with him. But he pays his old, so who am I to argue? Let me know what you choose. I'll add it to his list. Let him know. You're paying next time, though. Quite right. I ain't never gonna get the hang of this.
Win Hughes, start picking out a box for yourself if you don't got that money you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you, or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, um, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I, I guess, I guess, I guess you you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> Okay, you head on in the church. I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off. And I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie's long right. past prudishness. It's this was. Get out of here, kids. Move. Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy. Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. Hello there, sir. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. for some, uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This feller. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this feller? I heard him all right. 
We're gonna lick you, bastard! I'm gonna beat you, boy! You gonna get it! Here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this'll do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. That, that's more than than clear what I what I owe you. <laughs> Damn. Never comes when the need. Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, um, uh, you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> no, nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and, uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. You're lying from uh, Timbuktu, weren't you? Oh, from Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. <sighs> of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of it. I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. Oh. 
Looks like... Like blood to me. Shit. What's this? Found your dog. Ex dog, ex lion. Hey, boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took them. <sighs> That'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. Your tiger is a wild cat? Uh huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. <sighs> well, let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. <clears throat> The other half? Really? I'm gonna put them in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. Rubs up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. Come quick. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Just shut it. I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Let's go. We got her! Okay. Drive, will you? And I'll keep an eye on her. Sure thing. Let's get her back to Mr. Margaret. She's still eating. I would have thought, since they was close and all. Well, wild creatures turn on each other. Seeming friendly one minute, dinner the next. Viciousness comes easy. I mean, I should know. I've run with a few of them myself. Is that right? No, not really. Hey, uh, I realize I ain't properly introduced myself. Sally Nash. Arthur Morgan. Nice to meet you, sir. Tell me, Miss Nash, how you end up in this racket? I, I guess it's always been my inclination, you know? Wild beasts and the like. I met Mr. Margaret, we got to talking, and... You can probably tell, in this field, he's the ace of spades. He's a card, all right. It's my modest hope, one day, to be the world's second bravest woman animal wrangler. I'd say you got that sewn up and then some. You think? I hope so. Top five, at least. It depends on how many more fellers throw their hat in the ring. Maybe one of these days, the best female for the job will actually be a female. Oh, I don't know if that'll ever happen. Yep.
main road around here. When the dust was up, be careful or you might get back to two. Right. You know the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark, when over we go. Whole caravan toppled. We found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. Uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. There it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you wanted. Aha! I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarn and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him just fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command performance material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly Drury Bloody Lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. Howdy, sir. Welcome to the shop. Have a look around. I'll miss that leg. Real good.
Get yourself out of there. Give me your money now, tough guy. Or you're a dead man. You don't want to see what happens if you don't leave. You got about one more second. You're done for! That's it! Yeah, nobody likes him. Not the white, and not the black. He was smart, my father. And I loved him. And he, he taught me how to read. He taught me to judge people for what they are. Not how they look. A little, you know. <laughs> I always wanted a boa. <laughs> a 